Right, so I wanted to do a video. Um, I want to give credit to Taylor's and Bond and <coughs> Um Where are we? Taylor's a bod and our boat. Um, he's done an excellent job actually covering this Whitchurch um, narrow boat disaster. There's been made, he's made many videos about it, but you know, there's such a lot of speculation about how this happened. Now, I have put a link in the description. There's a there's a terminology. It's very old terminology from old science. It, well, it's not old science. It's actually common no knowledge with a lot of people. In some countries, um, I'll just play this. In some countries, it is illegal to actually plant trees on a narrow embankment, and the reasons are quite obvious to most people when you do study what happens with a tree root system. The tree roots are renowned for causing a very narrow embankment to basically become unstable. Now, when I look at this footage of this um, embankment between the actual canal and the field, which is now flooded, I can see straight away just by looking at this that this particular embankment was too weak it wasn't sustained sustained it wasn't compressed enough it wasn't wide enough the that's the most important aspect is it's not wide enough to support trees now I'll explain how you can test this this theory well it's not theory this fact I'll let you I, I, I'll tell you how you can test this if you get some uh, doesn't matter what it is but if you get some straws right and you make a small um, uh, dam in your garden right just get some soil press it up make a tiny little dam structure stick some ordinary drinking straws in it and then pretend that the drinking straws are the trees right and you just move the drinking straws around a little bit like the, the blowing in the wind what's going to happen to that small dam that you made is it's going to wiggle about it's going to move around and you're going to start to see that the actual structure that you made is starting to crumble around the edges now if it's compressed clay you're going to be okay it's going to be fairly stable but once it gets too wet once it gets too saturated with water and rainfall it turns there's a thing called liquefaction liquefaction is generally caused by the movement or rapid movement of the earth now <clears throat> let's go back to a few months ago there was a earth tremor there was actually an earth tremor not long ago now i don't think it was in this particular region but those earth tremors are very well known to cause liquefaction but liquefaction can also occur from slow frequencies as in slow movement of a tree blowing in high winds now if you look at this picture very carefully you'll notice that there's very few structures buildings around this area it's like a big wind tunnel and the only thing stopping that wind is the trees so they're going to be the first things that are going to get hit by that st a strong wind. We have had some very strong winds, gale force winds, a few months ago. Which will have weakened the structure to the point where once we had that excessive amount of rainfall, that was the final straw. Literally the final straw, which basically breached and caused the Lalangan Canal breach to take place because the the structure the structure of that embankment was already weakened because it's narrow there's some pretty big trees on there the bigger the trees are you would think oh the stronger they are right they've got more roots well that's the problem there's more roots in that embankment than there is embankment to support the root system right <coughs> which means that um, it's going to break 
the, the, the trees on the opposite side, on the left hand side looking at this image, it's got a very substantial network of trees in there, but most of them are very small trees. There's two large trees there, but there's a much wider dam area on the left hand side than there is on the right hand side. The right hand side looks very, very, uh, what's the word, primitive, looks very weak. I mean, the part that you look at that's collapsed, I'm not on about that. If you look further up, the part that has not collapsed, I'm talking about up here, you can see this is very, very narrow. This is a weak point, but there's no trees there, right? This didn't breach because there's no trees moving around on that section, unless they removed the tree, which is possible that they did. But when you look down here, there was there was quite a system. There was one particularly large tree here, which has actually fell down. It came down. And that tree, I suspect, is, was the cause of this breach. Because you have to look at what happens with roots in a tree structure, in, in, a, in a clay structure, right? The tree roots are looking for water. They will grow towards the, wherever the wet parts are, they will grow towards it and they will create a void. Um, the roots don't grow in a straight don't grow in a straight line. They zigzag, you know? And I don't know if you ever watch stop animation, um, but when you see plants growing, they they're not perfectly still. They wiggle a little bit. They actually wiggle a little bit. So the roots are wiggling a little bit because they're trying to find the way to the water. They actually move very slightly. Now, I'm going to see if I can find something on... Oh, well, I could do that, but you can do it yourself. But basically, if you go and do... Let's do a search. Uh, let's find something. Hang on, let me just open a new tab. Right. Let's look at some footage of... Um, right. Stop motion. Uh, time lapse. Uh, let's see, um, plants grow, growth, um, how do you spell it, oh, I've forgotten, uh, it's, it's, shit, where is it, yeah, W, T, H, growth, right, let's have a look for that, right, 384 days in 8 minutes, right, let's look at this, because this shows you what happens when plants are actually growing, it's, it's speeded up. Now let's look at this. Now we're talking about, we're actually talking about um, tree roots. Now look at this growth. Now look at how they wiggle about as they're growing. They're not growing in a straight line. They move around. And the roots also do the same thing. Because they're looking for water, right? Watch this, continue watching. The soil is constantly moving over a period of time. It's very slow movement. The tree, they almost look like they're alive. Well, they are alive, but they just move so slowly. Now, if you imagine that over a long period of time, over decades, years, now look at the roots. Look how the roots. Look at the roots of this plant. That's just an ordinary plant. And some roots die off. And when they die off, they leave voids where water can pass through and cause a breach. But trees, they, they'll live for hundreds of years unless something kills them off. But everything moves. And when you get a tree structure that's very old, the older the tree, the more stiff and more brittle the uh, wood becomes. And the more uh, it likely it is to bend in the wind and cause the roots to move underground at the same time while it's moving and that is why you don't want trees on a very narrow embankment you, they're okay on a wide if you've got a really wide dam that's fine but this wasn't a wide dam this was very narrow so this is a, just a typical example um, I'll, I'll try and put the link in the um, in the description of the, this live stream I'm doing right now. 
Now, there's so many people out there who just need to do some research. Find out what happens. What happens with um, uh, trees? You know. Now, let's let's do some more research. Let's do some more research, right? Let's ask a question. Why are trees not allowed on narrow dam? Uh, what is it? Structures. Structures. Let's try and see if that's the right word. Uncontrolled vegetation on and around dams can hinder. Right, look at this. Uh, let's look at this. See what this. Oh shit! Did I, oh, I opened it in a new window. I want to open it in a new tab. Uh, open it in a new tab. Uncontrolled vegetation on and around dams can hinder inspection and lead to serious structural damage, significant maintenance costs, and possible failure. There you go. There's your answer. So you can go read that too. I'll put the link in the descri description at some point. Uncontrolled vegetation on and around dams can hinder inspection and lead to serious structural damage, significant maintenance costs, and possible failure. There you go. That's your answer. That's why they don't want large trees on narrow embankments. And there's all this speculation going on about what caused this breach. There's your answer. Thank you for watching.